Novena to the Christ Child, Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Opening Prayer Sweet Jesus, Savior of mankind, you have graciously dwelt with us. You long to be with little children. For you once said, Let the children come to me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, let us come before you. We kneel and pray to you that you have mercy on our sins and frailty, and that you give us grace and mercy, which we long for from your small and all-powerful hand. At this novena, we are striving to let others know of your lovable image, and we pray that you give us light and grace from heaven, which will enable us to remember the sweet passing of your divine childhood. And those thoughts are combined with the powerful prayers of your mother Mary, who will reveal to us and cause us to love you in this veil of tears. The seventh day, the house of Israel. Picture in your mind seeing the Holy Family in a small home in Nazareth, where Jesus, Mary, and Joseph live. Christ is now eight years old, as beautiful as the sky, merciful in his speech, and sweet in his demeanor towards people. He grew in wisdom and grace. Morning and night he prays like God made man, kneeling before his Father and his Father glorifying him in his work. At times he works with Joseph. At times he helps his mother at home. Then, at times, they go out together among the people, and they marvel at his words of wisdom and his whole life. They were in Egypt for seven years, and their joy was even greater when they returned home to a more comfortable home in Nazareth. And the thought came to their minds that the wonderful child of theirs will one day suffer and die. The aroma of the Lord as God gives joy to the people when he sees how helpless they are. He mixes joy with sorrow in the home. We know that. We will not exalt ourselves if we find richness, which quickly passes away. We will not be empty inside if troubles worry us, as if God is absent or abandoned us. But we will praise the Lord in good times and in bad, because he has given both to us and these will help us attain heaven. And that is all he asks of us in exchange for the good and salvation of our souls. We will not let the day go by without praising his holy name. But what shall we do in the meantime, in good times and in bad times? My Lord, my God, O wisdom who comes from the mouth of God the Most High, who reaches the beginning and end of time, guiding creation with power and love, come, teach us the paths of knowledge. Three Yearnings of the Soul O God who became a child, you said he who asks will receive. Give me what I ask of you before your image, our Father. 
O God, who became a child. You said, He who seeks shall find. Let me find the good that I seek, because I know that it is in the closed palm of your hand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who became a child, you gave word to the people that he who knocks will be opened unto. Listen to me knocking at the door of your merciful heart. Open for me, so that I may enter and stay with you forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Pause now and ask for the favors you seek at this novena. Closing Prayer Let us pray. All-powerful and eternal God, Lord of heaven and earth, who was seen by the small ones, we ask you to lead us to the true belief of your child Jesus and to follow your will in our lives and to enable us to reach your kingdom promised to the poor in spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus became man like us, and he gave himself up to death, who delivered us by his death, who earned his everlasting name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Prayer O God, who sent your only begotten Son to save all men, and who was named Jesus. Please give us the grace to honor his name on earth and to please you in heaven because of his coming. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.